The U.S. sees China's tech rise as a national security threat. The pandemic would soon shake up the aviation industry from top to bottom. Who will shape the future of technology? The U.S. or China? From supersonic jets to self-driving cars, artificial intelligence to advances in genomics. The technology race between these superpowers spans across industries. Both are aggressively pushing boundaries, investing billions in R&D to dominate critical areas like 5G networks, quantum computing, robotics, and more over the next decade. Welcome to the new technology Cold War. In this video, we will analyze how these rival forces compare when it comes to commercial aviation, electric vehicles, semiconductors, militarized drones, and beyond. Let's decode this vital innovation battle of our time right away. Let's start with the aviation industry. When it comes to commercial aviation, the race between Boeing and Airbus has dominated for decades. But China's state-owned Comac aims to shake things up with the C919, meant to rival the 737 MAX and a 320 NEO. This shiny, sleek aircraft just finished test flights in 2022, after years of delays, make no mistake. The Chinese are serious about taking on aviation heavyweights. Comac may be a newcomer, but with subsidies and support from Beijing, they have the resources to compete. The C-919 totes comparative range and fuel efficiency to its Western rivals. However, uncertainty lingers around safety certifications and reliability. The 737 MAX may have had issues, but Boeing has over a century of experience, and Airbus offers tried and tested alternatives. The Chinese domestic travel market has massive potential for growth. In the next decade, Comac could grab share locally while slowly expanding internationally. This state-backed jet maker is actively positioning itself as an alternative in commercial aviation. Between technology theft allegations and pricing advantages, we'll discuss how rising Comac could shake up this long-standing Boeing versus Airbus duopoly. But aviation isn't just about conveying passengers. Military supremacy in the skies also hangs in the balance. Does China's fighter jet technology pose a real threat to America's air superiority? When it comes to deadly aircraft, engines, and secret research, the race is neck and neck. The America's F-22 Raptor has long stood as the world's foremost air dominance fighter, with cutting-edge avionics and stealth. However, China aims to catch up with fifth-generation fighters in its J-20 and FC-31. With improvements like enhanced dogfighting capabilities and sensor fusion, these aircraft showcase China's rapidly developing defense tech. The J-20 even boasts an edge in aspects like speed and operational ceiling. Rumors had it that they extensively leverage stolen U.S. intellectual property around elements like F-35 stealth coating. While matching America's air power still remains a stretch, through relentless investment, Beijing is certainly aiming to get there. China's jets may still be catching up, but when it comes to hypersonic missiles, the tables have turned. Is Beijing now actually ahead when developing these ultra-fast and new weapons? With speeds exceeding Mach 5, these maneuverable rockets travel too swiftly for traditional missile defense systems. Both China and the US are pouring billions into programs like the DF-17 versus the AGM-183 ARRWW. After recent testing mishaps, American officials expressed concerns about falling behind while China already has operational capability. The Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle, DFZF, for instance, can deliver nuclear payloads while navigating at blistering speeds. Meanwhile, America is still working out guidance and control challenges. With medium-range systems able to reach Guam, Beijing's advancements directly threaten U.S. carrier groups in the Pacific. While hypersonic tech itself isn't new, China's rapid testing and incremental enhancements signal a strategy for asymmetric warfare. Success here places China at an advantage when it comes to circumventing American regional bases and systems. China's missiles may be blazing ahead, but can their electric cars catch up to Tesla? When it comes to EVs, Elon Musk's company dominates in cutting-edge engineering and battery range. 
but Chinese automakers are revving their engines to compete. BYD leads in affordable, high-quality electric cars for the masses. The Han and Tang models boast advances like blade batteries and rapid charging times. NIO takes aim at the premium market instead with PCR smart systems and fun features like in-car VR. Xping touts LiDAR sensors and self-driving for city streets. These brands aren't household names yet globally, but with generous home market subsidies and innovation, they're positioning to give Tesla a run domestically and abroad. Particularly in densely packed urban areas, Chinese EVs excel in practicality and price. Tesla still wins on branding and best-in-class offerings. When autopilot kicks in, Chinese EVs still lag behind American innovation. But can Chinese self-driving companies catch up to the likes of Waymo and Cruise? For full autonomy without driver input, US tech holds a clear edge today. Waymo has clocked over 20 million miles on public roads. Their minivans boast high-precision LiDARs, radar, and HD maps for navigation. GM-backed Cruise also records heavy real-world testing hours in cities like San Francisco. No one was inside the Cruise vehicle. There was no driver behind the wheel. Progress has been steady, but slower than expected. In China, Baidu's Apollo platform aims to accelerate development with open source code and datasets. Their test vehicles rely more on cheaper camera-based perception compared to LiDAR. Pony has ultra-detailed street maps for over 10 cities to aid navigation. However, Chinese self-drive focuses more on highways or simple conditions than complex urban areas. With fewer regulatory hurdles, China's advantage is faster data collection at a greater scale. Self-driving cars offer a glimpse into China's chip capabilities. But in the critical semiconductor sphere, does China still remain behind? When it comes to cutting-edge fabrication and designs, American companies dominate today. Intel powers computational advances with its x86 processors and foundries. NVIDIA's energy-efficient GPUs excel at AI workloads. Both leverage multi-billion dollar R&D and precise manufacturing for optimal performance. Qualcomm's communications chips permeate top smartphones globally. In response, China is marshalling resources behind homegrown players. But we are still, for most of the consumer or the customer. Though technologically lagging, SMIC and Huawei's HiSilicon churn out high volumes of chips at competitive pricing. With subsidies and spying, they aim to catch up on quality too. Progress remains slow, however, in fields like advanced logic and memory. A key question persists. Can Beijing transform and shape global electronics supply chains to its advantage? China's semiconductors may be trailing, but could its latest supercomputer lead the global computing race? In the ultra-high performance arena, American hardware has dominated for years. Powered by cutting-edge components, Summit and Sierra top the charts on sheer processing power today. These IBM-built Titan support advanced applications from nuclear simulations to weather forecasting. They showcase U.S. innovation in connecting and coordinating blindingly swift calculations across nodes. Yet, China's new Sunway Exascale machine claims up to quadruple the muscle. It leverages homegrown processors and architecture tuned to numeric algorithms. With blazing I.O. speeds, Sunway aims to top benchmarks in areas like genomics, plastic simulation, and oil exploration. However, doubts remain about its chip reliability under sustained loads. We want to provide this level of compute capability that has never... When it comes to raw computing power, China's capabilities cannot be underestimated. However, the real-world impact emerges from how technology gets deployed and connected. This brings us to the pivotal arena of 5G networks, where Huawei aims to lead despite US restrictions. The geopolitical implications are complex. There are genuine security concerns around Chinese telecom infrastructure enabling surveillance and IP theft, and Huawei's state backing raises flags when installing critical communications gear. Hence, the Trump-era bans on the use of Huawei 5G equipment in the US urging European allies to follow suit. However, the bans have mixed consequences. Huawei 5G is still being adopted in many regions. And without competition, European and Canadian 5G networks may end up costlier and arrive later. There are also worries China may retaliate by hampering American big tech firms. As 5G transforms digital infrastructure, an even more radical computing model shakes up the technology landscape. Quantum, with exponential leaps in processing intricately encoded data. 
quantum promises to revolutionize everything, from drug discovery to cybersecurity. And an intensifying race is underway between American tech giants and Chinese academia. Google leads private sector efforts with demonstrations of quantum supremacy on its custom Sycamore system. Advances from IBM, Honeywell, and startup Rigetti also showcase US strengths in patents, funding, and talent attraction. However, China's national quantum labs have clocked notable firsts in quantum satellite communication, blind quantum computing, and photon transmission records using homegrown technology. Researchers from the University of Science and Technology of China, as well as Professor Chaoyang Lu's team at Jiangxi's Caswell, uh, led by uh, Professor Pan on the project of quantum science satellite, appear at the vanguard today when it comes to extensive research output. Beyond pioneering computing hardware, the real power lies in software capabilities that leverage it. This brings us to artificial intelligence, where both nations aim to lead the coming decade of automation. In fundamental research, the US remains ahead, home to powerhouses like OpenAI and luminaries like Jeffrey Hinton and Demis Hassabis, advancing theoretical frontiers. China excels instead in commercial adoption at a vast scale. With Baidu automating translation and retail, SenseTime accelerating facial recognition, and Tencent AI pivoting from gaming to healthcare. The American edge lies in world-class talent driving cutting-edge code. However, China's advantage is access to gigantic data pools from over a billion citizens using AI daily. Chinese tech also rests on less scrutiny around privacy and ethics. So, while the US dominates the publication of papers and the invention of algorithms, China ships products leveraging AI to hundreds of millions of users. The approach is more gradual, but the impact is tangible. Artificial intelligence may drive the algorithms powering intelligent machines, but robotics and drones showcase how this gets translated into tangible innovations. And here, American genius in design and Chinese manufacturing scale play complementary roles. You moved into the electronic era, you, re you replaced that hand crank with a button. In advanced robotics, US strengths center around high-precision specialized systems from pioneer Boston Dynamics, as well as aisles of automated retail warehouse bots shipped globally by companies like Fetch. China instead focuses on mass robotic production. It is already the world's largest drone maker, pioneering cheap but capable quadcopters, agricultural pickers, and affordable collaborative robots on factory floors. It's a classic contrast where American innovation establishes new frontiers in sophisticated robotics, while China scales more established use cases across its vast middle-class market. Chinese integrators tailor foreign designs for local needs, like warehouse bots customized for e-commerce giants JD and Alibaba. Biomedicine promises to transform lives, and here, too, intense competition unfolds around CRISPR gene editing, RNA-based therapeutics, and more. The US has unmatched depth when it comes to biopharma talent, research, and entrepreneurship, with clusters like Boston and the Bay Area's housing gene editing pioneers Editas, Intelia, as well as Moderna, the mRNA vaccine breakout startup. One vaccine against 1,000 different, 10,000 different variations of the virus. But China is racing ahead too, with more clinical trials of CRISPR approved than Western nations combined, as regulations move quicker and research builds on earlier unethical embryo modification. It leverages state direction and collaboration among institutions to accelerate therapeutic timelines. Global recognition has also grown. Tu Yuyu won a Nobel Prize for Artemisinin against malaria in 2015. Our discoveries represent a paradigm shift in medicine. Can China shift from being a contract manufacturer to an IP powerhouse here? The patent and publication race is too early to call, but health innovation promises immense economic and social returns. Looking ahead, which nation do you think leads the 21st century technology race? China with its determined national direction or American private sector ingenuity? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like this video if you found it insightful. Make sure you subscribe to stay on top of our future videos.